So, a uh, Walt Disney World uh, closes beaches after Gator snatches boy. This is a big story. Everyone's been paying attention to this story for a while now. Um, it was the Grand Floridian Resort. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with the Disney property. I don't know if you guys are, but uh, a lot of you have been to Disney World, I'm sure, at some point in your lives. Um, I go there a lot because my mom is a total Disney file, and she's dragged me a few times. I don't really enjoy all the walking involved, honestly. It's kind of annoying. And, um, you know, I like uh, Universal Studios better. You know, if you are if you like going on rides and shit, the, their rides are really close together. Disney makes you fucking walk to their rides. Like, it's a fucking track. You're like, you're, you're goddamn Lawrence of Arabia walking through the fucking desert. That's how it feels to my fat ass, anyway. And if you see the kind of motherfuckers hanging around Disney World, I'm sure they feel the same goddamn way, because there's a lot of fucking fat Americans there. And, you know, come to think of it, the kids at Disney World are pretty fucking annoying. You probably, honestly, like, as you're there, wish a kid would get eaten by an alligator. So it's probably, like, the collective wishing of everyone who's ever been annoyed by children that has culminated. It, it Our broadcast signal was received by this alligator, and it gave us what we wanted, and now we're going to complain about it. Um, <laughs> but Walt Disney World, they've closed their beach because the gator, the gator snatched the boy, all right? So they were... They, it was like this big movie night by the lagoon. Uh, Disney has these little artificial canals that feed into, you know, other bodies of water and stuff. And and they were there, and they were by this little beach thing, and it was movies playing, I guess. And, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of people there. Like, you know, you're at this upscale, nice place. It's well lit. It's happy. Everyone's... You know, drinking drinks and eating food and watching movies and, you know, families are all around and there's probably fucking Disney characters maybe, like fucking Mickey Mouse is there going, ah, 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 and then all of a sudden, you know, a kid gets eaten by a fucking alligator and everyone's like, ah, shit, and, uh, you know, uh, the kid actually did not get eaten by the alligator, though. The, the alligator um, uh, just uh, basically... Disney gator attack two-year-old boy found dead. He was found not too far from where he was dragged into the water. Um, he um, was uh, just had a few puncture marks. They say he probably wasn't even killed by the gator. I mean, he was killed by the gator, but he was he wasn't like ripped apart or something. He died because he drowned. The gator grabbed him, pulled him in, probably went, "Oh yuck, this is not part of my natural diet." Patui spit him out, and uh, you know by then he's, he's fucked. He's dead. Um, now, I grew up in uh, southern Louisiana, so um, I, I grew up very close to the Chifuncta River. Um, I knew kids who would go swimming in the Chifuncta River, tons of them. Uh, in fact, I, wa I wasn't one of them. I was scared of getting eaten by a fucking alligator. That was me personally, but the rest of them, they went in there all the time. And uh, I was even told by um, a guy who did swamp tours, like on a little pontoon boat. He'd take, you know, tourist groups around. He'd teach them about the swamp, teach them about, you know, what all the trees are, what all the plant life are, what all the you know, flora and fauna going on. And, you know, the, basically just teach them about the fucking the swamps. Um, and, uh, he, you know, he told me that, you know, he, he, he taught his kids to swim in the, in the river, in the swamps and stuff. You know, they, they swam there. They knew it was full of alligators, but they also knew that, Alligators really aren't that likely to do shit to humans, because guess what? We're not on their fucking menu. They don't like us. There's a shit ton of people get bitten by alligators. Almost no one gets killed by them. You think it's because they can't? You think the alligator bites them and then is like, you know, I could, I could fucking uh, waste and eat this motherfucker, but I'm not gonna just out of, like, compassion or something? No, it's because we taste bad. We're not part of their fucking diet. So usually they don't even fuck with us. Usually when they do fuck with us, it's by mistake. Uh, they're just stupid reptiles, folks. The life of an alligator is uh, you're born for a while, you're small, so you got to avoid predators and shit. Eventually, you get big enough that that's not much of a fucking problem, and then all you got to do is eat and eat and eat, and occasionally you fuck, and you eat and you eat and you eat, and you occasionally you fuck, and you eat and you eat and you eat, and then you're fucking dead. And that's the life of a fucking alligator. There's not much to it. Uh, now, if you want to disagree and go find fucking some nature documentary about the rich inner life of alligators, you be my fucking guest. But, uh, trust me, mostly that's what there is. Here's the, uh, the culprit right here. This is a, a photograph of the alligator, What Done It. He is uh, still at large. 
They're trying to track him down. And that's actually serious business because this alligator could strike again. Um, you know, like I said, alligators usually only attack people by mistake because they think that it's something that they want to eat. But um, then when they taste, they realize, no, this is not, yeah, this is gross. But uh, it is actually a big deal to catch this alligator because maybe, maybe this is an alligator that has developed a, a, a tendency to attack humans or, you know, this could be potentially the start of some new behavior. Um, probably not. Uh, I want to show you actually a list of the uh, fatal alligator attacks in the United States uh, from the 70s on. So uh, in the 70s, there was three. In the 80s, there was four. In the 90s, there was three. In the 2000s, there was, I don't even know, there looks like there's about 12 there. And, and so far in the 2010s, there's uh, five. It seems like alligator attacks are up, but uh, that's probably just because there's more people and we more and more encroach upon alligators' territories. Um, you know, we, we've, we've basically, you know, we built fucking nice beach resorts in the middle of their fucking swamps, you know? Here's an artificial beach in the middle of the swamp. Nice. Uh, a lot of people blaming the parents. We're going to get to that later. That'll probably be the last thing we cover. But uh, I did want to get to this guy right here to kind of show the attitude towards the alligator. Um, this guy says, Jesus, fuck. I can only imagine how that family must feel. Their bundle of joy being swallowed by a lake monster. It's a lake monster. Uh, and then this guy with 115 fucking... Uh, down votes. It's not a monster asshole. It's a living creature that has the same right to life as us dumb apes. Once a pan, a pain upon, appon, it's not spelled right, a time people actually took care of their children. It's sad an innocent child suffered because of the foolish apathy of its parents. Um, the parents were definitely not apathetic. We'll, we'll get to that later though. Uh, what I wanted to point out was that uh, they didn't actually downvote him for anything he said about the parents or anything like that. Uh, it was because he called he, because he refuted the lake monster thing. Because the next comment is nope, lake monster, ninety four points. Uh, Reddit has spoken. Alligators are lake monsters. Everybody, this is why democracy doesn't work. Um, so it was. It's been the top story on CNN. See here, top story. This you go to CNN. This is the the front page. At least it was when I went there uh, about an hour ago. This is it. Boy's body found. Alligator pulled two year old in lagoon near Disney uh, hotel. Fox News tragic ending. Body fa body found of boy snatched by gator at Disney Resort. Tragic ending. What what possible other outcome would there have been? Like was there a happy ending to this story? It turns out that. The gators just brought the boy to the magical gator kingdom where they crowned him the high prince of the alligators and he and they raised him as one of their own and only for you know him to to heed the call when the world needed him and his special uh, powers of gatordom you know like just cuz it happened at Disney don't mean it's a fucking Disney movie it was. It wasn't a tragic ending. It was a tragic fucking beginning. A kid. A story that starts with a kid getting dragged into the water by an alligator doesn't end. They all lived happily ever after. It sure. It just doesn't. Unless it's a story told from the gator's perspective. But even from his perspective, no. Because remember, he didn't want to even want to eat the kid. He just fucking ugh, gross. I don't want this. I'm leaving. You know. So the kid just died because the gator fucked up. The gator thought, that's something I want to eat. Um, and then, you know, a few minutes later, the gator realized, no, this is gross, actually. Fuck this. Oh, the gator fucked up, y'all. Gator fucked up. Uh, this gator fucked up, too, because he ended up gator meat. I just want to point out, you know, maybe it's a silly point to some people, but I like it. Um, that we eat a lot more gators than gators eat us. You know, gator meat's on the menu, in Louisiana and Florida and places like that. Uh, by the way, that sauce they got paired with it, that looks delicious. I don't know what it is, but I want it. And I want that gator meat, too. You know, I'm sure that uh, they, they should fucking put, they should make gator meat like half off at Louisiana and Florida restaurants so that we can, you know, get our revenge on the gators, you know? Eat some of those fuckers. 
Um, oh, I'm not ready for this part yet. I'm not ready for this part yet, so we'll keep this up for a second. But um, I just want to point out, you know, CNN covering this, uh, Fox News covering this, this being a big top story, this getting all kinds of attention on Reddit, getting all kinds of attention on Twitter. I'm sorry, this is a fucking distraction, folks. This is a fucking distraction. We just had, like just had, the biggest mass shooting in American history, the worst terrorist attack on American soil since 9-11. It was becoming a major political issue. We were talking about Islam. We were talking about gun control. If you're a feminist, you were talking about toxic masculinity, whatever. People were talking about what caused this? How can we prevent this? And that's kind of an important discussion to have because this keeps on happening. And we always start having the discussion and then for some reason we stop. And this time we're stopping because a kid got eaten by a fucking alligator. And I understand that's an interesting story. I'm interested in it too. I'm making a fucking video about it. I think we should actually have this fucking discussion, okay? I think we should have this discussion about gun control, about Islam, about toxic masculinity, I guess. I guess we can at least talk about that. It's stupid. We can talk about it. About any, any fucking thing, anything anybody thinks about what happened, we should at least consider it. We should tear it apart if it's stupid and should be teared apart. We should build it up if it's good and should be built up. You know, there, there's, I, we, what ha- we were having a nice little open marketplace of ideas, fucking free-for-all on this shit. And then everyone just kind of said, ah, stalemate, let's pay attention to the kid in the gator. I mean, does our entire nation just have fucking ADHD? You know, you're like dogs. You're, you know where you're going. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you, out of the periphery of your vision, you see a squirrel on a fence. And it's just like, oh shit, I'm going there now. This is, this is the squirrel on the fence. This kid getting eaten by the alligator, this is the squirrel on the fucking fence, everybody. Do you realize that? I realize that. I'm trying to get you to realize that. Maybe you do realize that. Gator meat, yeah. I guess we could talk now about um, the last topic we're going to cover. Uh, the sheer amount of people who, like these people here, uh, this tweet, how are kids ending up in gorilla enclosures and gators' mouths when I couldn't even go to the bathroom alone? Disney gator attack. Oh, great, more innocent animals being killed because of piss-poor parenting. Stop the world, I want to get off. You know, a lot of people blaming the parents. Um, Sorry, this has nothing to do with it yet. I got, a, I got a lot of fucking... I have a lot of, like, sub-tangents for this gator shit, you'll notice. Um, these people blaming the parents. They're all over the place. I see I see them all over Reddit. Fucking, yeah, the parents. It's parents' fault. Parents' fault. Parents' fault. Parents' fault. Parents' fault. Parents' fault. Okay. Well, let me tell you why I don't think it's the parents' fault. Because, one, remember those gator statistics I showed you? Yeah, pretty unlikely to get killed by a gator. It's not a common occurrence, even in Florida. Uh, These are fucking... uh, This is a family from Nebraska, okay? This is a family from fucking Nebraska. They don't know shit about alligators or Florida. And even if they did, they probably wouldn't care. Because people who do know about alligators let their kids swim in alligator-infested waters. Because they know that the alligator probably ain't going to fuck with their kid. The chance is incredibly remote that your kid is more likely to fucking get hit riding their bike or fucking, you know, just just get injure themselves because they're fucking stupid kids. You know, they're 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 liable to walk off a fucking roof or something. You know, kids fall out of windows and shit. Kids are fucking stupid. Kids way more. There's a a thousand and one things the kid can fucking do to kill itself because he just doesn't know what the fuck it's doing, especially a fucking two year old. They'll walk right out in the middle of the fucking highway. They don't give a shit. They're stupid. Um, but this kid, all, all the kid was doing, there was you heard, there, the people say, well, there was no swimming signs. All right, the kid wasn't even swimming. The kid was just, he was, he, he, he was standing there with his feet in the water. That ain't fucking swimming. That ain't fucking swimming. It doesn't say stay out of the water. It says no swimming. And guess what? You know how many signs there were warning about the dangers of alligators? None. 
You know how do you know how many times Disney, when you go to Disney World, takes you aside and lets you know, look, gator safety warning, everybody. There are alligators in these waters. You know, you should know that and be aware and keep your children safe. That's never told to anybody. No one, no fucking Nebraska family who goes to an upscale Disney resort and goes to a little artificial beach environment with lights everywhere and people everywhere, you know, and that there's never been a, a gator attack in this area ever. You know, they're not thinking like, yeah, our kid's going to get eaten by a fucking gator. You know how many fucking kids have probably waded in that fucking water? There's probably 20 kids a night wading through that fucking water. These people just won the shit luck lottery. Their kid happened to be the one that got eaten by a fucking alligator. Not even eaten, just killed. Drowned by a fucking alligator. You know, let me, hold on. Look at this. Look at this fucking kid. Look at this kid's mom. You really, does that look like a mom who's just like, ah, whatever. Both the kid's mom and the kid's dad, when the kid was fucking attacked, ran into the water and started fighting the fucking alligator. Those are some dedicated parents, all right? You know, they're, thr they're thrust into a situation that never in their fucking wildest dreams is going to happen. You know, not even something they would conceive of for an instant, and all of a sudden it's happening, and it's happening lightning fast, and their first reaction is, bam, they're in that water. Bam, they're trying to fight that fucking gator. Those are some good fucking parents, all right? And you motherfuckers who are trying to, like, push off some blame on them, like, oh, it's your fault. It's your fault. Like, what does that fucking accomplish exactly? What does it accomplish to say it's their fault? Uh, you know, these, these two people who just, they were fucking having a nice family vacation and all of a sudden their fucking kid is dead, eaten by a fucking gator, and the entire nation is watching, and fucking half the nation is saying, y'all are shitty parents. It's your fault your kid's dead. I mean, like, even if it were true, even if it was just, even if it was like a fucking clumsy act of negligence on their part, who the fuck does that? Who the fuck goes up to a grieving mother like, oh, my fucking parent is dead? Who the fuck goes up to that person? Yeah, well, it's your fault, bitch. Should have paid better attention. Like, you're scum fuck. Like, even I know you're a scum fuck at that point. Jesus. Don't do that. It's wrong. One final little tangent on this gator shit. I know, I'm pushing my fucking luck here. One final tangent. And this kind of ties into something I discussed a little earlier. The media, the distraction element. People who are so fucking concerned about this gator story about this one kid that died, that just, they're just fucking going crazy trying to hold someone accountable because they can't stand that maybe it was just a random fucking accident. Nothing in the world can ever be random to some people. They always got to fucking figure out who's to blame. Who's to blame when bad things happen? Sometimes no one's to fucking blame, you idiot. Most of the time, no one's to blame. Most of the time, bad shit just happens because that's the natural unfolding of the fucking universe. One day, a big asteroid might fucking slam right into this fucking rock and kill us all instantly. You know what the reason is? No fucking reason. Get over it. Quit trying to look for some fucking agent of evil that's working against you. There isn't one. It's just random fucking goddamn chance fucking accept it and stop trying to look for a scapegoat you fucking simpletons that's my advice to you but i also want to know how is it you get so fucking worked up over this oh i'm being hypocritical because i'm worked no i'm worked up for a different reason you'll see look at this shit obama led drone strikes kill innocents 90 percent of the time says some fucking report that's probably right even if it's not Obama drone strikes are killing a shitload of innocent people. Guess what? Some of them are children. Some of them are fucking children. Here's one. Here's one right here. Uh, this, this little girl. She was killed by an American drone strike. Uh, Ali al Haj Kador. That's her name, I guess. Look at her. Looks like a perfectly normal little fucking girl. Killed by us. Because her dad was supposedly a militant. We don't even... Yeah, probably he was. I don't know. But she's dead. 
killed by us, killed in a drone strike. Um, yeah, oh, airstrike, probably a drone strike. Whatever, she's dead at any rate. Killed by our tax dollars. We're actually culpable in that. Happens, and it's not, unlike a kid getting eaten by an alligator, it's not a rare, fucking strange, novel occurrence. It happens all the time, over and over and over again. Tons of kids and tons of other innocent people dying because of our fucking stupid ass wars in the Middle East and elsewhere. <sighs> this is, uh, these kids right here, these kids in Africa, they're slaves. They're fucking slaves, man. And uh, you know whose slaves they are? They're yours. 1.8 million children work in cocoa fields in Ghana, and I can't pronounce the other country's name, I'm sorry. These children are vulnerable to brutal labor practices, including trafficking and slavery. Candy companies, including but not limited to Nestle, Hershey, Cargill, ADM, and Barry Kalbout. I've never even heard of that one have admitted accountability and promised to remedy the situation. Sadly, 14 years has passed since this agreement and little has changed. The candy industry is a $70 billion industry. <laughs> $70 billion industry and this is who's fucking... Who, this is who's harvesting... Oh, sorry. This is who's harvesting your cocoa beans right here. This is who's harvesting them. These fucking kids. And uh, guess what? It's a dangerous job. A lot of them die. A lot of them die getting the cocoa for you. And that's not a unusual situation. That's not a rare fucking event. That's not an occasional occurrence. That's happening every day. Right now, it's probably fucking happening. It's probably happening this very fucking goddamn second. No one cares. No one's upset. Even though... The blood is on our hands. Doesn't matter. Uh, sweatshops right here. According to a National Labor Committee 2006 report, an estimated 200 children, some 11 years old or even younger, are sewing clothes for Hanes, Walmart, JCPenney, and Puma at the Harvest Rich Factory in Bangladesh. The children report being routinely slapped and beaten, sometimes falling down from exhaustion, Forced to work 12 to 14 hours a day, even some all night, 19 to 20 hour shifts, often working seven days a week for wages as low as six and a half cents an hour. The wages are so wretchedly low that many of the child workers get up at 5 a.m. each morning to brush their teeth using just their finger and ashes from the fire since they cannot afford a toothbrush or toothpaste. Uh, I'm probably wearing Hanes fucking underwear right now. And, you know, this hasn't changed. This hasn't gone away. That's just one fucking factory. One fucking factory with 200 children that are basically fucking just child slaves. And they're making my clothes. They're making your clothes. They're harvesting our chocolate. We're killing them in our wars. But none of that we give a shit about. The real villain, the real villain is this fucking goddamn alligator, dude. That's your fucking enemy. That's your fucking enemy right there. That's the problem. That's the swamp monster. The lake monster, sorry. That's the fucking lake monster right there. You hideous demon. Straight from the fucking depths of hell you came to eat that child out of pure malice. You just not even eat him, just kill him. Just fucking murder him. You just grabbed him and you dragged him in the water and you just fucking, nah, you killed him. You piece of shit. You're a monster. You fucking unthinking animal who's just driven by instinct, who has no fucking brain, who has no capacity to understand what it's done. You're, you're fucking horrible, man. Fuck you. You know, us, us killing the, this kid, though, that's cool. Fuck her, you know. Fuck you, little girl. You know, we need, we need, to, do, we need to do a drone strike. Your dad's a jerk. You had to die. Sorry. Probably would have grown up to be evil anyway. Next Hitler, female Hitler of the Muslim world, probably, if we hadn't done that, you know. And it's cool, you know, child slaves picking our fucking cocoa beans. Ah, well, you know, yeah, they'll be fine. They're, you know, it's good. It gives them something to do, you know. Otherwise, they'd just be sitting around, you know. And uh, children sewing our clothes for us, you know. I mean, the six and a half cents an hour, that goes a long way in Bangladesh, dude. 
You gotta fucking put that in the Bangladesh money. They're practically millionaires. They fucking can't. They gotta brush their teeth with ashes because they're spending all their money on fucking blowing hookers every night, dude. That's what's going on. Come on. You could see. Give me a break, guys. Give me a fucking break. Here's the... Of course it's terrible if your child gets eaten by an alligator at Disney World. Of course. But maybe if you let your kid play in a Florida swamp at night when there's no swimming signs posted, it's a tiny bit your fault. A Florida swamp. I mean, this is the kind of understanding people need before they actually condemn the parents. It was a Florida swamp. No. It was a fucking little manufactured, manicured... I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is, this is their swamp. This is their fucking swamp. This, they, this guy thinks that's a fucking swamp. You know? And like I said, if you actually live in Louisiana, they do let your kids play in the fucking swamp. The people who actually know some shit about alligators, they know it's unlikely to happen. They know it's like the same likelihood of a kid getting struck by lightning or some shit. You know, they let their kids drive around on ATVs and shit, and they flip and they get injured. There's fucking spiders that they bite you. You might have to get fucking amputated. I fucking knew a girl who got bit by a brown recluse. She almost had to have her arm cut off from that shit. You know? Kids come into contact with danger, just like everyone else does. And they're just as likely to be killed by some fucking out-of-nowhere event. It doesn't give us an excuse to stop paying attention to the, the, the news of the day that actually matters. And it, it's, it certainly doesn't make any sense in the light of all of the child exploitation and child murder around the world that we sign off on and that we we have the blood on our actual hands and we don't fucking we don't care we don't give a shit oh well, i'm part of a fucking system that murders children wantonly ah well i need my fucking chocolate fix well there's blood on my hands it'll it'll come off i don't know i think that's just hershey's i think a hershey's bar melted in there it just looks like blood cuz it is So fuck this. Just, just fuck this. Sorry, I know. I mean, I had a surprising amount to say about this story. Um, have, a, have, a good, have a good one, guys. I don't know. I don't know how to end this. Just, just fucking, yeah, you're the enemy. Fuck you, Gator. You're the problem. You're the real enemy. It's none of that other shit I talked about. It's you, you fucking monster. All right, I'm the Amazing Atheist. Uh, I guess we can end this with the traditional... Peace the fuck.